Greetings, my name is Rick and welcome to all the audio coverage from a blog to watch for everything that's going on in and around Watches and Wonders, Time to Watches and all the other brands that are just pitching up on hotels in Geneva to speak to us about their watches. We have interviews galore for you, so hopefully you're going to enjoy the one that's just about to pop up and if you do, then subscribe to everything else on the Spending Time channel and search for a blog to watch weekly on your podcaster for all the news and reviews of the watches that you're about to hear about in these interviews. Enjoy. Well, we welcome to the show and we thank very much Marie Lou, whose name I've already murdered from Bell and Ross, who is joining us from Paris today and has been kind enough to send us in advance all the details of what is coming from the brand for Watches and Wonders. So let's start, Marie, with how excited you are about Watches and Wonders. It's still a few days away, some last minute preparations, or are you all organized? <laughs> no, so first, uh, first very nice, uh, you know, like to be here today with you, Rick. And, uh, and uh, no, of course, you know, we have everything, you know, like ready for the show. And by the way, you know that it's uh, the first time, you know, that uh, Bell and Ross is, uh, is uh, joining uh, Watches and Wonder as a part of the Grand Maison. So we are very pleased about it. And it's uh, really, Great. you know, I just wanted to start with that because, you know, it's really part of the strategy of the brand to move uh, toward the manufacturer brand. To the manufacturer brand. Excellent. So you know, that's the first thing. So it's the first, first for us, you know, like uh, not only for me, but for the whole company, because I've been with the company for uh, not such a long time. So, but it's new for everybody among us, you know, so, so we are ready, but it's the first time ready. So we don't know how much we are ready. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to arrive for your first event. Are you, uh, so I take it you're really looking forward to it. It's obviously been a long time in the planning. Yeah, sure. Getting to Certainly. this point. And are you all booked into one Airbnb staying on bunk beds or are you managing to live in the lap of luxury at Pal Expo for the week? In, in between. In between. In between, <laughs> in between the two options, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the most important the most important was to be very close to pal expo you know to uh, uh you yeah. know like to to be nearby because it's gonna be you know like long days and uh, it's so much more convenient yes. so that was to me the most important is close to pal expo yeah so they're not making you sleep on the exhibition Absolutely. stand just yet we put some very nice <laughs> sofa the only <laughs> challenge is that i'm maybe a bit tall for the sofa but <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, you see, I think it's it's very under under looked for us journalists that actually we do like a good seat in a stand. So uh, it's always good to actually be able to come onto a display and actually sit down rather than stay standing because everybody is standing for so much of the day. But I'm really excited to see what Bell and Ross's stand is actually going to look like this year. Is there a theme to the actual stand yes. as well as just the watches? Yes, absolutely. Because, you know, uh, there has been uh, last year uh, a major release for the brand, which is the launch of the Bear X5, you know, which is the entering mm -hmm. of uh, Bell and Ross in the manufacture movement. But, you know, we already had some, but, on you know, on uh, high-end yeah. limited uh, editions, and that's a core range. So this re this release, you know, is really a step for the for the for the company. So the you know like the the stand uh, the the booth, you know, like the part that is open to everybody is really showcasing this bear X five. Great, great. Look forward to seeing that. So let's talk about the other releases that are due to be displayed at the show. Let's start with one of my favourite ranges from Bell and Ross. I'm very excited to see this because the original is an incredibly comfortable watch to wear and incredibly legible and just an all-round great watch. But we're seeing a GMT Blue, the BR0393. What can you tell us about this release and why blue and grey for the choice this year? So, you know, as you were saying, you know, like we have uh, in the range, you know, we have two pillars uh, on the range. We have this historical, you know, uh, around in the square with, uh, you know, like with the screws and with all these instruments and the beer. And we are adding actually some... Uh, uh, this year, you know, some permanent edition to complete, you know, and reach the range. And this BR-393 cool. is, uh, you know, is an illustration of it because 
uh, we already have a, a GMT uh, black version, but that was mm -hmm. the only one we had in the range, and we we're thinking that it was good to enrich and propose some new colors. So why is the blue? Because you know we are all the um, inspiration of Bell and Ross is aviation, and blue is the color of aviation. So that's you know like this inspiration, and as well the sky. So it's a mix of both. Uh, and the idea, you know, was to uh, to have this bicolor uh, rotating bezel to uh, illustrate day and night. So the choice has been made, you know, to keep the blue uh, for the night and to have the gray, uh, the gray for the day. So so that you have this harmony in the color between, you know, like the the case and this bezel and the dial that is a, a blue sun ray. So it's you know like and and, and to uh, to put a bit of color. Still, we have you know like this. Uh, this uh, red uh, on the on the arrow for the for the, the for the second time zone. Yes, a, a perfect watch for a Scottish sky, in that the yes, blue, blue is gray. reflecting night, while while the grey is reflecting the yes, sky, so, yes. which is pretty much what I see when I look out yes, my window from here you know, most of the time. It's for the nice, <laughs> I could have said as well, you know, I was more oriented on aviation, but it could have been, you know, like. The color of sky being, you know, like blue or gray, depending on days. Today is in between in Paris. <laughs> yes, it's, I, I suspect you see much more sunshine in Paris than we do just south of Glasgow, but there we go. So I'm really excited about this particular one just because uh, my experience of them has been they are so comfortable to wear and just so nice to have on. Are the watches that you're displaying at the show going to be immediately available from the retailers yes. or is it going to be a little bit of a wait uh, so it actually depends on which ones we are going to see three of them two will be immediately available you know like from day one and the gmt is going to arrive but pretty not on the d-day but you know very soon you know in the coming weeks great it's, it's always good to see a nice watch and then know yeah. that it's more available rather than you having to wait half a year no no no, no. it's a question it's a question of on days it. on this one it's a, it's a question of days but not Excellent. on uh, months or <laughs> or years <laughs> Good stuff. Look forward to seeing that. Now, let's move on to something that the brand has become quite well known for recently, and this is its use of different materials. And this is the BR05 Green Gold. Now, I think the full gold bracelet version of this is going to be spectacular to behold and to handle have you had the opportunity to actually see one of these in the flesh yes, absolutely. Yet? and you're right you know and that's you know to, to continue it's uh, this one is as well a permanent one so the id uh, on the you know the second leg of the pillar which is the br5 you know which is the interpretation of you know like the the iconic uh, case but in a more urban version and uh, so it's quite recent, you know, it was launched back in, in 2019. So we are enriching, you know, the range with and this BR05 uh, this BR uh, automatic uh, gold is a third, you know, we have a black, uh, a blue, and we are adding this green. It has a sun, actually, it's very nice because, you know, you have in the dial a sunburn effect. So when you, you know, we, you titled it, it's, it's changing color, moving, you know, from a dark to a more luminous uh, green. So it's very elegant. And then the, um, the gold is brushed everywhere apart from, you know, like the small links on the, um, that have a polished finish on the, on the bracelet. The strut. So, uh, so it's uh, really very refined. You know, this 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 one is a full full gold. You know, so it's really a high end watch, and uh, it's really what we call you know a jewel of strength. But it's released with two different versions. If you prefer, you know, to if you are more uh, in in the green than in the gold, you have the opportunity to choose you know the the green alligator uh, laser, very elegant that will more you know like focus on the green color rather than the the gold. So you will have these two options. But it's um yes, it's um very subtle, you know, like these changes of color and very elegant. No, it looks really nice, the green and gold together. I think we're going to see a lot of green, a lot of different colors from a number of the Maisons during Watches and Wonders, and I'm sure this will be one of the more spectacular ones, in particular the full gold. Now, a particularly exciting watch because it introduces the material of bronze, and this is the O3 Diver White Bronze. Tell us why Bell and Ross decided to get into the world of bronze even further. So actually, you know, that's a limited edition and we like to do the bronze as limited edition. What we like about it, it's like, you know, it's a, the bronze is a vintage, it's an historical material of underwater exploration. So it's bringing us back, you know, like to the roots, 
you know, and uh, of the of the diving. So that's one of the reasons we like to have that. And it's adding something interesting as well because, of course, you know, it's a, a professional instrument. You know, with all. Uh, uh, you know, like the international standards, uh, uh, you know, of um, diving watch, but it's also a watch that is really elegant and chic and it's bringing a neo, uh, neo retro look and it's bringing you, you know, to kind of, you know, like the historical uh, uh, diving environment. So that's the reason why we choose that. And what is interesting, of course, with the bronze is that each one becomes unique because, you know, it's evolving and it's, uh, and we like, you know, to have unique watches, although it's a limited edition, each one will be unique because it's the color changes depending on the person, you know, and the evolution makes it uh, absolutely unique. Yeah, it does appear that uh, one of the themes from Bell & Ross this year, either deliberately or not, is the fact that a number of these new releases are going to look very, very different depending on the lighting yeah, that they exist yeah. in. So the bronze and white works really, that kind of cream works really well together and I've always been a big fan of Bell and Ross straps and bracelets. I do like the fact that they terminate at basically the width of the case rather than it being, you know, little straps or little bracelets. I think it just makes it a, a much better fit and a much better look for the whole thing. So of the three, is there one you're particularly excited about more than the other? Yes, I would. I, it's difficult to choose because, you know, of course, it's a question of mood. <laughs> Depending <laughs> if you are in the sky, on the, you know, on the ground or in the under sea. Yes. And I like, you know, to pick, your, pick your favorite child. <laughs> and, but I, like, I think I like, the, I like the sky, you know, I like to, to tra you know, the traveling. Yeah. And uh, I think it's so, uh, you know, like you're so much, you know, in the, in the depth roots of the brand. And, uh, and I think, it's, you know, like this color, you know, it's very, this blue is very elegant and you have this harmony as well, because we've not talked about the, 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 the laser, uh, the, the bracelet that is, you know, a blue laser as well. So you have this harmony of blue. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's, you know, like a very good expression of uh, what uh, Bell & Rose stands for. So I would pick this one. I do feel like I'm a bit of a sucker for a gold watch at the moment. It just feels to be the thing. But I think of something that I would buy myself and regularly wear this GMT blue I think is probably the one to look out for. I'm sure it will feature on many a top five and top ten list from the show. Uh, Marie, what else are you looking forward to at the show? Will you get any chance to wander around the rest of the exhibition yourself or do you think you're basically not going to see daylight for seven days? Uh, I think, uh, you know, it's important to see, the, you know, like uh, what the others are doing as well. And, you know, like uh, there are some breaks. So I will definitely go and all the more because, you know, it's my uh, just like second or third time, you know, in the show, in the salon. So I will spend some time, you know, going and uh, uh, to, to see the, you know, like the new releases of all the brands, the stands, you know, and getting as well. You know, I think it's interesting, you know, to to get some, uh, you know, some uh, some some better understanding and vision on what, you know, like the other are bringing to the to the floor as well. So definitely I will go around. And there are two public days this year. Is there anything particularly happening that's different from Bell & Ross on the Saturday and the Sunday from the press days through the week? So actually, you know, like, um, yes, of course, we, we, you know, like there is this uh, opening opening to the to the public. So of course, it's going to be, you know, like um, a, a, an approach where we have, we will just have, you know, like the part without embargo, because we have two parts, you know, like one for the press and, you know, like the professional. And this one will be a really showcase, you know, like the range and, uh, and the idea will be to, uh, to, uh, to make the to, to, to have a discovery of the brand and that's the way actually we build as well on all the windows you know through the different collection to bring people through the brand through the different uh, you know like the different variants of the range uh, to for people to get to know because you know of course we are among the very uh, uh, big brands but we are pro, you know a smaller one not everybody knows the brand so the idea was either to uh, to showcase you know and to pro present you know, like the, the, the collection and as well, you know, all this new um, Barracks 5 that is pretty new and that lots of people have not seen yet. So that's the occasion as well for the public to come and to, you know, to have this, you know, to, to touch more or less, but, you know, we'll have some, of course, some people and eventually, you know, if they want to buy them, we'll be very happy <laughs> as well to, to sell them. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoy your first 
time as a big brand on the main stage at Watches and Wonders. It sounds like you're all ready and it sounds like you're very excited yourselves about what you're going to display to the public. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to this interview. Please subscribe to the Spending Time channel and subscribe to our blog to watch weekly for all our weekly news and reviews content from the gang at a blog to watch. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.